these are unusual times if there is one lesson to be learned from the current circumstances it is to respect nature the current way of life is not sustainable anymore and the only way forward is to change we are at the dawn of a fourth industrial revolution from the advent of the steam engine to electricity followed by the digital revolution and now the fourth revolution which will lead to a fusion of technologies and usher a blurring of lines between the digital physical and biological spheres this will also drive a massive shift in every aspect of our lives and transform entire systems of business production management and governance traditional businesses have focused on a linear model which operate on a take make and dispose method products are made using fresh resources and sold to customers who use and dispose it eventually this model operates as if there are infinite resources which however is not the case the current linear economy must give way to a circular one what is a circular economy a circular economy is an eco friendly alternative to the linear model where resources are kept in use for as long as possible through reuse recycling and refurbishment this enables the extraction of maximum value from them whilst in use and recover regenerate resources at the end of its life cycle a restorative and regenerative economy has many benefits research has proven that a circular economy would reduce waste reduce environmental impact of production and consumption deliver a more competitive economy drive greater resource productivity address possible issues of resource scarcity in the future some companies and governments have already started focusing on this circular economy is the number one priority of the european green deal the european union focused on an action plan in 2015 aiming to make supply chains more circular apart from environmental benefits a circular economy yield immense economic benefits and could significantly impact a country's gdp over a period of time this also facilitates in achieving some of un's sustainable development goals like responsible consumption and production sustainable cities and communities and climate action how could this impact india which has 1/6 of the world's population and home to the largest number of youth in the planet As per a report by Ellen MacArthur Foundation, benefits of a circular economy in India are: it could create annual value of over two hundred billion dollars by two thousand thirty, increasing to over six hundred billion dollars by twenty fifty, compared to the current development scenario. By adopting these approaches, businesses could achieve material cost savings and increase their profits. This development path. could significantly mitigate neg- negative environmental externalities it would deliver benefits for the indian population population such as cheaper products services reduced congestion and pollution leveraging digital technology to enable a circular economy could reinforce india's position as a hub for technology and innovation by actively leveraging and reinforcing these opportunities now india could move directly to a more effective system and avoid getting locked into linear models and infrastructure high growth markets like india can achieve competitive advantage over mature economies by moving to such an economy how will a circular economy impact the technology revolution in india anyone with a smartphone and internet connection has access to more information than the us president had 20 years ago Technology is radi- radically transforming education, healthcare, financial services and utilities. The primary medium through which this technology is accessed by millions is the smartphone, the catalyst for creating change. E-commerce is reducing e-waste and bridging this digital divide in India between people who have access to technologically advanced devices and those who don't. India is in the midst of a technology and smartphone revolution. There are over 1 billion mobile phone users. It is also the world's fastest growing smartphone market. 145 million smartphones were shipped in India in 
the average replacement period for a smartphone is now less than 15 months. These devices still have a life ahead of them. Every smartphone can go through three change of hands before end of its life cycle. Over 600 million people still do not have access to smartphones in India today. There is a huge untapped supply of smartphones and a large unmet demand for devices in good working condition. The secondary market for used smartphones is still primarily unorganized in India. A trusted source like Badli.in offers warranty and quality assurance. This is a market where a circular economy can have great impact in enabling digital inclusion, bridging the digital divide as well as reducing e-waste. What will the future look like? This economy would be restorative and regenerative, which creates prosperity and fuels growth without adverse environmental impact. The most important aspect will be a shift in the mindset of consumers, companies and governments towards a sustainable economy. A circular economy will usher in a new era of conscious consumption. Millennials today are much more environmentally aware than any previous generation. Looking ahead, it seems inevitable that more companies would and should focus on leveraging the opportunities presented by a circular economy. Thank you.